Let's learn how to create curved arrow in PowerPoint. Curved arrow? What can you do with it, Ram? You ask. And here is the answer. You can use it to label your illustrations or you can create a beautiful diagram like this or heck, you can even create a full-fledged framework or model with it. But Ram, there are more curved arrows than there are cockroaches in this world. So why can't I Google and use one of those, you ask? Of course you can. But then take a look at these options. A lot of them are paid options. A whole bunch of them are just pictures so you cannot edit them. Whereas when you create one, you can change its color, change its shape, apply gradient, fill it with texture. You can pretty much make it dance to your tunes. Can you do all that with a downloaded picture from the net? I doubt it. And the most important thing is when you make a graphic like this, you look cool, buddy. Okay, Ram, I get it. Now stop talking and show me how to do it already. You say, and here we jump right in. Start with a plain, clean, new slide like this. Go to Auto Shapes Gallery and pick up an arrow of your choice. Now I'm going to choose this basic of the most basic arrows and let us draw this like this. You can manipulate the arrow head or the stem, do whatever you want and then fill it with a nice sweet color like this. Go to Shape Outline. Go to weight and give it a really solid six point width and then change it to white color. Now we have got our base shape ready. The first thing you do is to create a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and then go to shape outline, say no outline and give it a dark color. And this will be our shadow and shadows don't really have these kind of sharp edges. So right click, go to format shape, then go to effects option, then go to soft edges and add a soft edge like this. The third one with five points, right click and send it to back. Now we've got our shadow in place. We are going to manipulate this a little bit later. First, let us deal with the original image here, right click go to edit points and let us move this a little up. So I'm going to hold the shift button down, click on the square and then move it slightly up like so. Now we have got one bit done. Then let us move this bottom one like this. So we have got the shape changed a little bit. Now this doesn't still look like a curved arrow. So I'm going to use this handle here and then move it slightly like this. Can you see here? I've created a beautiful looking curved arrow. Let us do the same thing for this and create a corresponding curve at the top. You don't really have to be too perfect with this. It is your arrow. It'll look the way you want. So just be free. I'd like it to be a little to the inside like this and it is beautiful. Now I'm going to work with the shadow. So let us click on this, right click, and then go to edit points again. Let us drag this a little to the down like this. And if you want, you can have this moved a little to the side like this. Do all kinds of adjustments. It's completely up to you. And if you want this to go inside, you can do so to give it a different light angle. If you feel even the shadow needs to have a slight curve, you can do that by clicking on this and then playing with the Bezier curve like this. And once you're done, you can always change the color gradient and everything about the shape. So I can go here, go to shape fill and then go to gradient and choose a gradient like this. So it looks a little more like 3D. And once I'm done, I can select everything, press Ctrl G and create a group. Now I can use it the way I want. Now, if you want to adjust the size, there is a small trick. Let me show you what happens if you adjust it the way it is. And then I'll show you the trick. Now, when I make it smaller like this, you can see that the shadow is getting altered a little bit and that may not be something you like. So the way to do that is you right click, copy and then right click and paste it as a picture. Now this thing can be manipulated the way you want. Can you see here? I can adjust it to any size I want. All the proportions will be retained. Those are the little tricks of the trade that graphic designers use. Hey, do you want to learn 25 creative PowerPoint ideas that will make you look like a champ in the eyes of your colleagues and bosses? Then we have just the right free course for you available right here. It's a free five day email course and those creative ideas are exclusive to my subscribers. So they are not shared anywhere else. So go ahead, be an insider, join our 25 creative ideas free mini course and be a champ. I'll see you inside.